G'day, welcome to Art with Alison. Today I'm going to be doing a split cup pour. I was really lucky enough that my dear son, who lives in Melbourne, my youngest son, uh, he made me a split cup. He was given a 3D printer by his wife and he very kindly made me a split cup. Now this split cup's got a little groove here which will be interesting to see how this works because I haven't seen that with anyone else using these. So hopefully that will help the paint to meet in the middle better. We shall find out, shall not we? All right, so uh, thank you very much, dear son. <laughs> and I thought I'd do it in your colours. Uh, you might remember I was just trying to make him a birthday present and he liked the colours of red, blue and, no, mainly red and black with a little bit of blue and a little bit of gold. So this one's going to have all those colours in it. Uh, who knows in how much order, probably more blue because I'm doing uh, two colours of blue. Uh, all right, I'll go through those. So this one here is Araldo uh, Metallic Waves, so it's a metallic blue. So I've got them a little bit more uh, runny than I was using in previous pours. It's still, I just had a little bit more float off. And it's still fairly thick, but not as thick. And this one here is a Liquidex Basics Ultramarine Blue. Again, the same. It's always important to have your colours as close in consistency to each other as possible. I hope I've got enough of this. Uh, this one here is Liquitex Basics Cadmium Red Deep Hue. Alright, so that's that one. And this is Eraldo Metallic Rich Gold. This is a little bit thicker. I did thin it down with Floetrol, but still feels a bit thicker. We'll see how that goes. I didn't want to thin it down too much because I know I'll be wanting to use this with other pores. Anyway, hopefully that's all right. So I thought I'd show you what I'm using is, it's simply a, a cake spinner that I bought from Kmart some time ago. Only about $15. Oh, it might have been Big W actually, I'm trying to remember. Um, it, it did, the dog's knocked it off and it did fall apart soon after I got it and ever since then, I don't know if it was like that before, but it seems to be a bit noisy, so I'm sorry about that. I don't know if that's why, because I hadn't used it beforehand, but when I watch other people doing pause, theirs aren't noisy. <laughs> this one is. So sorry, you'll just have to try and tolerate that. If I spin it, I don't know. Oh yeah, I have, no, I have to spin it slowly. That shouldn't be too bad, but I might spin it at the end. We shall see. Okay, so also I'm just using a 12 inch round canvas. Uh, it's 30 centimetres or 30 and a half, it said actually. And I've put masking tape just around the edges so that hopefully it'll stop it getting too messy underneath and I've also rolled up some masking tape so that it sticks. Okay here also <laughs> I put in, it's, it's, this is sold as a, a, a placemat um, from Kmart and I've just, I can't remember how I stuck that on, probably just with double sided tape like that. Anyway, so that's stuck onto there and now I'll just put this on, try and line it up as best as possible. How's that? Good enough. Good enough for the bush, as they say over here. I don't know if they say that in other countries. Good enough for the bush. I live in the bush. <laughs> the bush of Western Australia. All right, so... We shall see how this goes. So this here, this is scooped up paint from previous pours. 
uh, which have had mainly black in them. So it, it is like a rich metallic black, even though they had other colours in them, but yeah. Um, all right, let's see how we go pouring this in. Slowly, slowly. I don't know if I'm going to have enough reds, my only worry. I could always use another red on top if I don't. All right, so what did I decide? I was going to have gold on this side, black on that side. I have the two blues and the red. So, yeah, I think I'll go for the light blue. Gee, this is going to be tricky. How do people do it? Hmm. I might pour it in from here. When you pour things, if you lift them up high, then the part down lower is thinner than if I had that closer, if that makes sense. As I haven't measured how much paint I've got, I'm not sure how equal these partitions are, but looking at this, I'd say that middle partition is the biggest, therefore has the most space for paint. Um, but I figured that I'll be put, as long as they all come out at the same time, then if I'm left with any paint at the bottom, it doesn't matter. So I've got enough here. Mm. Look at that, just enough. So I don't know how I'm going to go for the red. I might end up having to use another red on top. We shall see. Mm, it's only half filled it. So I might, I might just quickly make some more of this up a fifth. See what I've got. So I'll just put you on pause. Back in. All right, so I thought I may as well show you how I mix paints while we're at it. So what I'd do is I'd squeeze in some of the, the paint from the pot. You can see how much I've got there. And then I get my flow trial. And start off with just a little bit. Mix it in. Of course this paint is fairly thick. This is the Liquitex Basics paint. It's fairly thick. And if you add too much of the flow troll at once, it can go lumpy and it's harder to get it smooth at the end. It's a bit like when you're cooking. It's just like when you're cooking. All right, so it's all mixed in. So a little bit more. And so it goes on 
each time you can add a little bit more of your pouring medium, in my case flow troll, until you get it to the consistency that you want. Like that's still way too thick, see how it just goes blob, blob, blob. So obviously that's way too thick. Put a bit more in. Anyway, I'll show you at the end, you don't need to see the whole process. It's still too thick, so I can add a, quite a bit more now because it's a lot more blended. So I won't get lumps now because it's fairly liquidy already. But when you start with a thick paint, you need to do it gradually. If the paint you start with is quite runny, you don't have to do it quite so carefully. <sighs> One of my dogs chewing something she shouldn't. I just had to tell her off for a minute there. All right, so that's getting pretty close. I think that's good now. Beautiful. Okay, so that's that. So we started off with that much. So probably two to one, as, as is usually the case with the uh, Equitex Basics. It's usually two to one with your pouring medium. All right, so that's good. So I've got, so that dripped a bit, doesn't matter. So I'm glad I've got the same colour at least. So we'll continue pouring that in there. I've got a grumbly tummy. I hope you can't hear it. I have eaten. Mm -hmm. Don't drip. All right, so that's that one. And then gold on this side. This might be a bit harder with such a big container. We shall see. Try and get it in your view. I don't know if you particularly want to watch me do this, but. Snoring dogs in the background. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that was a big trip. All right. Let's move those out of the way a bit. All right. So I thought for the base coat, I'd use this lovely Eraldo Metallic Waves. Even though it's in the pore, I think, I think it should be fine. This will look nice. Okay, so this is the very first time I've used this. And all right, I'd first like to acknowledge people I've been watching on YouTube to work out how to do this. Um, number one is dear Fiona. Lovely Fiona from Fiona Art. Uh, she was the first one I saw doing this. And she does some fabulous ones. So if you haven't checked her out, go and have a look. Um, I looked at a couple from Julie Cuts. And also uh, there's a new artist, Be Beatrice from Art Obsession Oz. She's done quite a few of these. So it might be worth checking out her as well. All right, so I've figured that, like I've got arthritis in my thumbs, so I think the best way for me to hold it will be like this. I was trying to work out how I'd hold it beforehand. Oh, let's see how it comes out all at once through these little thingies. Look at that. That's beautiful. Well done, my son. Let's see how it goes. Dog noises in the background. So here what I'm talking about is so I'd leave a bit of space between this and the first lot. So there'd be a bit of that blue showing through. 
is the idea. Not doing this evenly enough. Don't know if it matters. As in, I'm stopping and starting. I guess you have to stop spinning to grab the next bit, don't you? Getting your pouring out right as well. I'm loving that middle. I was hoping for that. Seen a few of the artists get them like that, thinking, oh, I'd like one like that. Still got heaps in my up. I think I'll stop in just a moment. Oh, look at those beautiful colours. Oh, I've got enough for another one in there, haven't I? Um, these, these round canvases came little ones and I thought there might be some left and I'd do it on a little one, but I think there's enough there for another one of the big ones. Well, that's pretty. I hope you can see that. I might just see if I can bend this around to show you. So the light seems to be shining. It's on a tripod, so I'm trying to, trying to let you see. It's not that easy. Is that pretty? I think so. All right, let's try and put you back where you were. Yeah, I just got this tripod the other day. It's, yay, I've got something I can use a lot more easily than what I had before. <laughs> All right, I might just give that a quick torch. Squeaky gloves. I don't know what that bit there is. I think it might have dropped, tripped. I might just go and get a pipette and suck that up. Because it looks a bit odd and it's near the middle so it's not like it's going to come off. Well, I can't find my pipettes. I'm going to put them somewhere safely. I wonder if I can do this. There we go. And maybe if I do this and this and this and this. There we are. That's good enough. Well, let's give it a spin, I think. I think I'll just move it a little bit further away. I don't want it splashing all over me. I'll just turn you a little bit. Oof. There we are. Let's see how much... Just do it gently. That's 
it's really pretty. Just wouldn't mind that middle bit getting a little bit bigger. Splash me, please. I think that's good. That's beautiful. It's a bit lumpy. I would have preferred it wasn't so lumpy like that. But for the first time, I think it's quite nice. No, I won't tip it, then it'll go. Might go funny. All right, so the fun part's going to be getting it off here. But I'm sure I'll succeed. Then I'll put it on a a cooling tray. Seems I haven't got any pegs on under there. So I need a bit more paint to set. Eh? I'll just slide that under and <laughs> oh. under it like that, <laughs> she says. Yeah, that'll come off. Not a problem. All right, I'll go and get the tray and pop it on there. And I'll be back to you in a minute. Okay, so I've decided to do another one. Obviously, I can't change the colours because I've got so much of those colours. It'd be good if I could have changed the order or something. But all right, so I haven't I haven't done any to that. So I'm afraid that's going to get paint all on the on the edges. But that's just the way it is. And center that as best I can. Um, oh, there's a lot of black in that, wasn't there? I might do a, a, a round pull with this one and see what difference that makes. Now, will I do the same? I might do red now for the base coat. This time I've got enough. I think that's all I'm going to be able to get it to spread to. Um, we'll see how that goes because I'm going to be, we'll probably move out maybe as I do the pour. We shall see. If not I can stop and do something else. Right, so this time I'm going to try doing a, a round pour, a ring pour. Let's go a little bit closer. Oh, I don't think it goes so well that way. Ooh, what's going on? Maybe I should go a bit slower.
Alright, so I might just um, put some more of this blue around the edges so it can flow for it to move easily, otherwise it might roll over on itself and then you lose the composition. Might just do a bit more here. Bit of a spin. I should leave that out of the way just in case. Actually, I should move that a bit further away from me as well, I think. snoring and snorting over there. In case you don't know, if you haven't watched many of my videos, I live with lots of dogs. <laughs> so it's a bit noisy in here sometimes. That last video I did, they did get a bit raucous. Luckily they're sleeping now. Um, all right. Might just give that a, a torch. Especially because I made only just made that red up so there are a few air bubbles in there. And just the act of pouring can cause air bubbles to happen. Well, this is just the beginning. You know, <laughs> I can see it can be fun, but I think I need to get a lot more practice in. I think I might stretch it out more. Sorry, I just realised you're out of view there. Um, I might turn the camera around. Hopefully that's a bit better. with that. That's all right. Let me know which you prefer or if you like either of them. <laughs> you might think, oh god, they're awful. <laughs> um, yeah. 
they they are fun, and I admire those who are doing them really well because they're not as easy as it looks. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do some more. I'll do the little ones in a minute, actually. All right. Let's try a little one. And see how this goes. I've still got paint left over from the last two. There's probably about that much left down there. So let's see how we go. I won't do a, will I do a base coat? I think I'll just do it. I think my paint's too thick. Next time I'll make it less thick. I think that's why it's coming out in such thick bands. I think if it was more runny, it would give me more delicate um, structure. Delicate lines. All right, I think I'll just pour this out. Just to give it some room to move. Because I'll pour that off, I expect. Just in case I'll do. Of the middle. Middle is the best part. What a black. No. I'm going to spin it this way this time. Should have done it there, eh? It looks like rubbish. I'll just chip that, I think. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> I've forgotten it wasn't glued on at all. <laughs> uh, be prepared for the unexpected in this business.
Oh, I think I like this one the most, actually. I love that blue in the middle. Pity we didn't get any blue anywhere else. How to grip onto it? It's so slippery. Just got to be careful when shipping it, you, you don't lose the lovely um, softness. Like if, you, if you're not careful, you'll lose the composition and the lines might go a bit wiggly. There we are, I'll just push that back to the middle a bit more. It's pretty. All right, where am I going to put it? All right, so here's the first one I did. Uh, glare. Got the light pointing upwards at the ceiling. Maybe if I... Here we go. Move that back a bit. So it's quite pretty. Some pretty little effects. Sorry about the glare and the shadows. And the snoring dogs. I tried waking them up, but they looked at me and kept on snoring. <laughs> Close their eyes again. All right, and then I'll show you the second one. So here's the second one. So loud. So yeah, not as, not as, I don't know, those black bits there are a bit lumpy, aren't they? I think this paint's too thick. Next time I'll do this with thinner consistency of paint and then I think we'll get finer lines. All right, now I'll show you the third one, the little one. Has that middle changed? I thought it looked more blue before. Oh, that light. All right, so... Oh, there we are. That's better. So I don't know what happened to the middle. I thought it looked better before. Again, I think the paint, yeah, well, I mean, it's the same paint, isn't it? It's just too thick. But the red and gold is pretty. Maybe they were a bit thinner than the black. Maybe that black was thicker in consistency. Anyway, I'm just beginning. This is my first go at doing these. And I shall do some more in different colours. It certainly <laughs> holds a lot of paint, that one container, that one split cup, doesn't it? And it's great. Thank you, my dear son. I guess I could just half fill it if I wanted to. That's probably what I'll do. That red really shines, doesn't it, next to the gold. But yeah, a bit too much black, I think. Anyway, just learning. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know how you've gone with such similar pores. Please let me know which you prefer. I want you to tell me. I think the middle in this one's the best. But that, that one over there, I mean, it, it's possibly more striking because it's kind of bolder. 
more bold and yeah tell me please let me know which you prefer so I know what sort of method to use it would be handy and I like to hear your comments it's always nice to hear your comments thank you so much everyone who's been watching thank you especially especially to those who have subscribed I am ever so grateful and yeah please give me the thumbs up if you've liked it ignore it if you haven't liked it <laughs> um, and yeah I don't really mind getting the thumbs down I think you know I look at the, the best artists out there and they get thumbs down so I heard someone say once you get the thumbs down that means you've made it <laughs> anyway um, what am I saying anyway I'll leave it there <laughs> thank you so much again for watching and I shall hopefully catch you again soon all right bye for now <laughs>